And the Nigerian economy officially plunges into recession as the country's GDP in real terms declined by minus 3.62% year over year in the third quarter of 2020, the second contraction of 2020. Reactions have uh, continued to trail the development among some stakeholders addressing how the country's economy is where it is today, urging the youth not to depend on government for livelihood. Jacinta Obiku reports. Recession, a period of decline in general economic activity where an economy experiences a decrease in its gross domestic products for two consecutive quarters has been faced by various countries in the world today. The recession is not limited to Nigeria. It's a global phenomenon. And recession is not new. It's always been there. As far back as Joseph in Egypt and the Bible, the whole world was under recession. So it's not a new thing that should frighten people. Recession will teach you lessons the hard way. You can't just say, what do we do? You need to look back and say, what did we do that has landed us in this okra soup of lack, of poverty, of exigency? Analyzing how and why country's economy is where it is today was part of the discussion. There's a tendency to follow after the what or never to ask the why. Original thinking, lack of ownership, um, lack of courage, leadership, these are the things I think that have brought us where we are. Ideas no longer work. Dashing people money is what is happening. And so we live in a society that cheerfully accepts misconduct in public service. The question remains, should the government alone guarantee nation's economic growth? We leave everything to government. How many citizens can any government employ? Do you think Mr. President has a better brain than you have? He's just a human being as limited as you. Every Nigerian must know that when government is borrowing money, you will pay it. Though Nigerians' economy slides into second recession in five years, there could be possible solutions. We need to cut down the size of government drastically. We need to have a lean and mean governmental structure. And we need to get to the place where we'll be self-governed. Everyone accepting self-government for himself. If I don't perform my duties, I cannot enjoy my rights. It's not too late for Nigeria. We've gone in the wrong direction for too long a time. Time has come for us to turn back and say, let's make a U-turn and begin to do things right and do the right things. The consensus from these stakeholders is that government alone cannot solve society's problems. It has to be a collective effort. Jacinta Obiuku, Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.